New tonight, they're on the front lines on four legs, and now the canines that protect us have new protection for themselves. Jenny Dorn is live with the story. Jenny. Well, Morris, we're used to seeing police in bulletproof vests, but not everyone thinks about their canine sidekicks. They're often the first to bark over trouble, and now the kindness of strangers is keeping them protected. They're on the front line. They're out ahead of all the officers. They're Montgomery County's four legged crime fighters. Generally, they're responding to the most serious calls. Four German shepherds with the sheriff's office using their noses for sniffing out explosives and pawing their way to some of our areas most wanted. We're asking him to go out and to apprehend somebody to help us track this person down while wearing nothing but a collar. But now one and a half year old Harley is being suited up just like his handler. He has a custom made bullet and stab protective vest, a gift from the nonprofit Vested Interest in Canines. <laughs> it's outfitted about 600 law enforcement dogs since 2009. Good boy. I'd be devastated if something were to happen to him and this is just another layer to keep him safe. Deputy Sheriff Steve Austin says canine cops carry some of the highest risk and would do anything to keep us alive. By him giving us that early warning that's, that troubles around the corner, I think it helps a lot of officers stay safe and, and helps uh, the public stay safe as well. And now their safety is being given top priority to keep these tails wagging. He's the best partner I could ask for. Ow. Canine vests usually cost between one and two thousand dollars. All four dogs in that sheriff's office we just spotlighted had theirs donated. Morris.